This video covers the general operation and maintenance for your new equipment. Every operator should watch this video before using the machine. Provided with your machine was an operator's manual. If you have not read this document, please pause this video and do so before continuing. This video provides information that is general and not tailored for your specific cleaning application. It does not take into consideration the health and safety risks specific to your application. Due to the many and various cleaning applications, the manufacturer, importer, distributor or seller of this equipment is not responsible for its performance. So, let's get into it. Now, this is the multi-wash non-pump version. Easy way of unwinding the cable is your two levers. And obviously we just um, plug it into the power pump. This machine has got the two tanks. One is our clean water tank, which can easily be removed. And then cable taken off to, um, to take the um, tank away. Cable can be fitted easily. And then it just um, mounts it. That's for our clean, clean water. This is our dirty water tank, which basically just clips out easily for um, emptying it and then easily fitted back in. Now the multi-wash, the way it's designed is we've got two brushes underneath the machine. So these wheels are the wheels for transportation. When the machine is running, these wheels basically come straight up inside the machine, therefore the machine sits on the two brushes. The brushes can be easily removed by pushing the rod up and pulling it out. It's just locked in by two little locking ball bearings so that the um, axle doesn't slide out by itself. Brushes can be removed easily. Now there's two types of brushes, they come standard with the black brush which is our standard brush. This brush can be used on all applications including carpet. Then we've got our hard brush which is more aggressive, uh, more for your, a more aggressive floors like the non-stick flooring and things like that. Brush can be easily fitted by just putting back back into position and then pushing the, um, the rod straight back in. Now these brushes Rotate, flicking up all the material out of the um, out of the ground. Very good these machines for your for your flooring, like your non-slip, your tiles, um, flooring which is a little bit more pitted and uneven. Because when these wheels are up, the whole machine is sitting on these brushes, and these brushes are getting right into the grooves. So these brushes spin, flicking all your material onto your centre drum. The centre drum rotates and puts all your material into the wastewater compartment in here. Now this here is a height adjustment on the side here. This governs by allowing adjust how far up the wheels come, which obviously adjusts the amount of pressure you're putting on. So as your brushes wear, this can be stay in the down position. As your brushes wear, this can be lifted up if you're giving more um, more pressure on your brushes as they wear. So the switch on this side, if it's in a downward motion, the machine itself will just run on its wheels. Even though the machine is plugged in, it won't run. Now if this is in an in upright position, the machine will then run. The minute you pull the handle into its upright position, the machine will stop. Okay, so basically we can put some clean water into our tank. Now this, this tank distributes the water just by gravity fed. As we pull the handle up, our water will just gravity fall out, come out. It's just a gravity feed operation. So we can let the water out, we can push our foot pedal down, and the machine will then run. The only other thing you want to watch is this here is a um, like a reset circuit breaker. So if the machine itself overloads, it'll trip off the circuit breaker and that can easily be reset by pushing it back in. Thank you for your time and we hope this video has been helpful. Remember that regular maintenance of your machine is recommended to optimise its life cycle.